Here's a question from our uh, Patreon Discord section. Cool. And a, a lot of people replied with, you know, the little emojis writing yes. So All right. the, there was no no's that I saw. So our, our uh, Patreon members and Float Plane members, our Discord Harbour Unboxed community members, mm-hmm. believe the answer here is a yes. So I'll read the okay. question out and we'll go from there. As the best value gaming CPU uh, video, 5800X 3D has a slight edge over the 3600K DDR4 in terms of performance when considering gaming only. In the future, would 5800X 3D's gaming performance leap further ahead because it has eight cores, whereas the 3600K only has six P cores? So is the answer yes, as our members think? I think the answer is actually no. And this is, again, one of those damn six core versus eight core. De- I thought comes I, up a lot, doesn't it? I thought I'd educated our members better than this. No, no, it's, uh, it, it all's not, not, not meaning to be condescending. It's just a joke. Uh, but no, eight cores, six cores, as we've said a million times before, are relevant. Uh, things you want to look at are actual raw CPU performance. Now, admittedly, this becomes quite complicated with the 5800X 3D because if you look at productivity performance, so all core workloads with a 5800X 3D, it's actually slightly slower than the 5800X in most instances because it's clock slightly lower, but the 3D vCache offers no performance benefit there. So it's difficult to take that and then apply that to gaming because you'd get very wrong uh, prediction of what the gaming performance should look like. Uh, because games benefit massively from that extra L3 cache. So having said all of that, if we look at all core workloads, like a a Cinebench, which is a very crude way of doing this, but if we look at that, uh, if we get the 3600K and we disable the E cores, it still scores around 17,000 points, whereas you only get about 15,000 points with the 5800X 3D. So those 6P cores are much more powerful than the 8 Mm -hmm cores of the 5800X 3D. So in terms of raw compute performance, let's say, for an all-core workload, the 3600K is the more powerful CPU because those Mm. P-cores are just so efficient. Was I would say there's still a chance the 5800X 3D would be faster, but it's not because it has eight cores, it's because of the V-cache. Yeah, but... If games continue to become more memory demanding, then the vCache element, because the 5800X3 is substantially more cache on the CPU than the 13600K. Yeah. It's, it's, so, it's, a, that's, yeah, that's, that's, we've that's, seen that's some, a hard one. Because in some very cache sensitive games, the 5800X3D is much faster. Yeah. So I, I, I guess it depends. Like if games go down compute direction where they require more raw CPU performance, mm. then yeah, your example of like the 13600K's 6P cores being fast is going to be the benefit. There's but if also, they go down cache route, yeah, yeah. then maybe the 5800X is still faster. So it, It's tough. There's other variables there as yeah. well that generally benefit the, the Raptor Lake CPU. So it's a tough one. But yeah, the cores wouldn't be and can't be the deciding factor there. Yep. They, they, it's other things. Yeah, it's yep. other things. 